I want you to imagine this with me. You just bought a property for $1 million, okay? I know that you might be like, I don't got a million dollars, but just imagine this with me because you're gonna eventually have a million dollars, right? Okay, so you just bought a property for $1 million. Now, three years have passed and you decided to sell this property because you saw that you can substantially gain a good sale at $2 million. You bought it for a million, you sold it for $2 million, you decided that was the right move to make and you made it. Now in this purchase and sale, you have a gain of $1 million profit. You bought it for a mil, you sold it for two, there's a million dollars in there that is profit. Now this profit, typically what a savvy investor would do, someone who plans to continue to grow their wealth, they would take this $1 million profit plus they would take their $1 million initial investment being $2 million and they would move the $2 million to a bigger asset and a different asset in whatever asset class they want in real estate. Now what this means is instead of having to pay on that $1 million profit taxes, which are gonna be considered long-term capital gains taxes, instead of having to pay that, you don't have to pay it if you move that money to another asset, actually not taking any of that profit out, which is the $1 million profit that you made. Not taking any of it out and enjoying it and going to buy a Lamborghini or a new house. Instead, you 1031 exchange it into a bigger asset. This is what real estate investors do who want to continuously grow their wealth and continuously grow their portfolios to bigger and bigger and bigger without having to pay the taxes legally and what they call it is a 1031 exchange to defer your taxes. Now for everybody watching this, I am not a CPA, I am not a lawyer, I'm just giving you my opinion from things that I read and things that I know about and this is just for entertainment purposes only so please if you have some detailed questions go to a CPA and a lawyer, a licensed CPA and a legit lawyer to give you the answers. Now that being said, let's continue with this video. Now what I just shared with you in the beginning of this video is a 1031 exchange that savvy investors do to avoid paying taxes legally. This has been done for years, this is something common, and this is something that people grow their portfolios with. Now listen to this. President Joe Biden, Mr. Biden, has announced a proposal that what he's trying to do essentially take away 1031 exchanges. Now he's not taking it away completely, he's saying that as long as you make $500,000 or lower, 500k or less as a gain, then you can 1031 exchange that property. But if you make $500,000 of profit or more, then you cannot 1031 exchange that property and you are forced to pay taxes on that gain. Now guys, if you don't already know, real estate, the core of real estate for savvy investors who are making millions and billions of dollars in real estate, they 1031 almost every single asset. They go from a $5 million building to a $7 million building, to a $10 million building, to a $15 million building. And listen to this, if what President Joe Biden proposes actually works, and anything over $500,000, you can now not 1031 exchange it, what does that tell you? This means that the person who has a $20 million apartment complex, the person who has a $40 million shopping center, what they would typically do is when they sell it, they'll 1031 it, now what they're gonna do is number one, either sell right now before this actually gets passed and accepted, or number two, not sell at all until a new administration comes who would hopefully, which is what they would be hoping, get back the 1031 exchange. So what this is gonna do is limit inventory on bigger assets because no one's gonna to wanna to sell it because no one's gonna to wanna to pay the premiums of capital gain taxes or of taxes on that gain. Now listen to this, those who have these bigger assets, what do you think they're gonna start doing in the near future? They're gonna say, if I can't 1031 anything over 500K, let me go into smaller assets that I can make less than 500K that I can keep 1031ing, which 
aka is known as houses. You can buy a house and typically you're not gonna make $500,000 or more in profit. You'll make 100K, 200K, 300K, 50K, and all of that can be 1031 into another smaller property. But the bigger properties, the bigger players are gonna try to avoid because they're not gonna wanna pay those premiums. Now, let me ask you this, it's a basic question. If you have an asset that's $20 million, how easy is it to make that asset sell a year later for $21 million? It's very easy. The bigger the numbers you play with, the bigger opportunities you have with leases and expansion and in growth is the easier that you can make the profit. So it's easy to have a $20 million building today, sell it a year or two years later, make $1 million, $2 million profit. So that being easier means those people who own those assets are now gonna be forced to pay taxes on it, which they usually don't. They'll take the 21 million, the $22 million they have, and they would roll it into another property, a bigger property, or roll it however they want. And now if you can't roll it, then what do you guys foresee happening? Now what this is gonna do is absolutely, number one, demolish 1031 exchange businesses. There are core businesses built off of this who help companies, who help property owners 1031 their properties into other properties. That's what their business is built off of. This is gonna demolish them. They're gonna be wiped out because 500K or less to be able to 1031 is not that much market versus anything that can be 1031 right now. And number two, they're gonna wanna hold on longer because of the tax repercussions they're gonna have to pay. So they're just gonna hold longer and they're just gonna wait for an administration change and pray that they get back the 1031. If this gets accepted, it hasn't been approved yet, but it's been proposed. But what's crazy is that so many of you who are hearing these proposals are shocked. You're like, oh my God, what is going on? Why is President Joe Biden doing this? But you're not realizing six, seven months ago, he was saying he's gonna do this. He was proposing this already. And you guys were either naive, not thinking he's gonna do it, or you just didn't care because you didn't fall into those brackets. But he said it, it was no surprise, and he's actually acting on it. And what this is doing is hurting the top 1%. It's hurting high time earners. It's hurting those who are in real estate who wanna grow their portfolios. If you don't know, I'm in commercial real estate. I do about 80% commercial real estate. There's assets that I have that I do 1031, and those now not being able to be 1031, if the profit is 500K or more, will substantially harm me, harm you, and harm those who are in the industry of growing their portfolios. Guys, this is crazy. I think this is horrible. I think this is stupid. And if it really does get passed, it's gonna affect the real estate market tremendously. And this will affect housing even more. Along with already having a housing crisis, this is gonna put fuel to the fire because the bigger tier investors are gonna now funnel in to come to the smaller assets that they can actually 1031, and you're gonna see prices skyrocket even more. I hope this doesn't get passed, but if it does, this is actually breaking news for those who are watching, and for me, and for savvy investors who'd like to 1031 or consistently do it in their businesses. I think this is ridiculous. I hope it doesn't get passed, but guys, if it does, get ready to see a big pivot in the real estate markets. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I upload three times a week, so consider subscribing. And if you got any new value or any smiles on your face from this video, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.